said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. Evangelist David Bybee has been called and anointed by God to fulfill the scripture. Now, let's join Evangelist David Bybee in the worship service at the Crossroads Community Church, Carthage, North Carolina. Praise the Lord this morning. I give thanksgiving to God. I praise the Lord for each one of you. God's got a plan, and you're part of it. And you may not understand exactly what part your person will play in that plan. You may not understand exactly where you are. Uh, but, Brother David, I, I'm just going to say this. You remember many, many years ago, you met me out there in that little foyer of the old church, and you said, I know why God has sent me here. See, church, this, this was, what, 15, 17 years ago. And, 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 but every one of you have been sent here for a reason. You've been sent here for a purpose. Visitors, you're not here today just by chance. You're not here by a chance. You might say, well, I just decided to take a vacation. Well, let me tell you something. 2,000 years ago, when Christ was hanging on the cross, he knew about that vacation. Do you understand what I'm saying? God knows it all. And God's got a purpose and a plan for every one of you. And the message he's got for us today, it's for each one of us. We're here because God wants us to hear this message. Now, what we do with it is entirely different. That's up to each individual. But he's got a, a plan for you and a plan for myself. And I want you to be part of that plan. I want you to be on the, the checklist with Christ. I want, I want him to go down your list checking off, yes, 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 they did good, they did good, they did good. And a lot of people don't understand that, but I just praise God today that he's called me and he's chosen me to be part of his gigantic plan. I want you to put your hands together. Make welcome Sister Pam Henson as she sings, God's going to make a way because he will make a way. Whatever your situation is, God will see you through it. God's children lived in bondage under the rule of an evil man. They believed they could see the day when they can lead and journey to the promised land. Just when all their hope was gone, they never see a brighter day. Well, Moses stood up and said, God's going to make a way. Now, Pharaoh was no match for God. So he set the people free. So they followed God's man through the sand just to stand on the banks of a Red Sea. Pharaoh sent his army out, deciding he would stay. Oh, Moses stood up and said, God's gonna make a way. Yeah, God's gonna make a way for us to cross the stormy sea. He's not gonna leave us here. He's done too much for you and me. A struggle just to get from day to day. Keep your eyes on the sky, cause I'm telling you, God's gonna make a way. Woo! Now, Jesus made a promise to take us to a better place. We could be suddenly taken to eternity to meet him face to face. But this time, he'll part the eastern sky. You better watch. Because God's gonna make a way Oh, God's gonna make a way for us To cross the stormy sea He's not gonna leave us here He's done too much for you and me When you find that it's a struggle Just to get from day to day Keep your eyes on the sky Cause I'm telling you God's gonna make a way Go! 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God, glory to God. Church, if you don't feel that, it doesn't make any difference. Those joining by television, those of you in here, millions, millions are watching by television. Millions. Those of you sitting in your, in your home right here watching this program, you may think you're the only one seeing it, but it's, it's going out to millions. And, you know, along with every person that's watching, there's a problem. Every person in this congregation this morning has a little bitty area that you would really like to see God just touch real quick. Every one of you have got somewhere, something in your life that you'd like to just see God touch. Either to, to help you through it, help you out of it, get you over it, get you around it, whatever. But every one of us has got something that would really like to see God just touch it. And he will, if you will believe he says if we ask believing, but you see, our lips get us into so much trouble. Our mouths get us into so much trouble. God will make a way. You know, and, and, and the congregation heard me say a while ago, I, I, I'd not heard that song. If I had, I didn't remember it. And I surely didn't know that Sister Pam was going to sing it this morning. Didn't know what she was going to sing. But I'm going to tell you something that... As, as God was dealing with me yesterday afternoon, he said, tell my people to start speaking it into existence, to start speaking victory. He said, tell my people to start speaking victory instead of defeat. Quit complaining about your sickness and start praising God for your healing. Quit complaining about the valley and start praising God for the mountain climb you're about to take. And God, you know, God started reminding me of Abraham when Abraham started up the hill that day. As Abraham started up the hill, his little boy was with him, Isaac. And Isaac said, Daddy, I see the fire and I see the wood. But he said, where's the sacrifice? And Abraham said, don't worry about his son. God will provide himself a lamb. God will provide. Can you understand what I'm saying today? God will make a way. All we have to do. Abraham didn't know the ram was going to be stuck in the thicket. He didn't know whether it was going to be hung between two rocks. He didn't know, praise God, if it was going to come out of the wilderness or how it was going to drop out of the sky. But he said, I know that my God will provide a sacrifice. My God will provide. And that's what you've got to understand today. Uh, uh, praise God, Moses uh, had his back to the Red Sea, uh, and Pharaoh was right behind them, uh, and he had the whole country of Israel. But what did he say? Uh, he said, stand still uh, and see the salvation of the Lord. Uh, and church, that's what we have to place our trust in today. Uh, he, we, God's going to make a way. Uh, Moses didn't know the Red Sea was going to part. Uh, Moses didn't know if God was going to build a bridge. Uh, Moses didn't know if Pharaoh was going to drop dead in his tracks. Uh, but he knew that God would see him through it he said see the salvation of the Lord you know what salvation means uh, it means saved he said watch God save you watch God save you watch God provide watch God make a way and church this is where the Lord has brought us to today we've got to know that we know that we know that we know that praise God that God can and that God will. When Caleb come back, I praise God from over across Canaan land. He had been in with the other 11 spies and he come across. He said, let's go take the land. God has given it to us and he had a made up mind. We can go take it and we can go get it. Why? Because he had a made up mind. He, he knew what God had promised him. God had promised.